Selamlar, hoş geldiniz arkadaşlar. Bir eksiklik olduğunu fark etmişsiniz de benim muazzam yakışıklı, aşırı karizmatik yüzüm maalesef bu videoda yok seslendirmede sonradan çünkü videoyu e, ayrı e, ses ve görüntüyü ayrı kaydediyordum. Kameram patladı maalesef bu yayında e, bu kayıtta e, kameram çalışmamış e, kaydetmiş gibi göstermesine rağmen kayıt almamış maalesef. E, yeniden de bölüm çekmek istemediğim için sonradan seslendireceğim bu bölümü. Önemli yerlerde sadece konuşacağım. Onun dışında zaten oyun Türkçe biliyorsunuz. Lincolnshire bölgesine başlıyoruz çünkü 160 gücü var. Lincolnshire'de kaldığımız yerden e, devam ediyoruz. He sounds charming. I will meet him at once. Protect your ears. Just a humble nobleman with an interest in versification. An amateur, really. Shall I continue? I'm not here to judge your poems, Lord. Speak your purpose or down your meat. Y yes Sorry. I have come with the hope of meeting Eivor, the great warrior of this clan. If such an audience is possible. You're talking with her now, and you are? Ah, oh, by God's blood, my day begins with a lash of good fortune. I am Hundwald, loyal son of Lord Hunbeor, the current elderman of Lincolnshire. May God keep and cure him. You see, my father is ailing, and in his delirium, evil men have corrupted his judgment. A secret and powerful order, if the whispers are true. Only a month ago, without forewarning, Mercian soldiers chased me, his only son, from my home. I know not why, but I do know my father would never have ordered my exile. Outcast from your family, that is a hard road to walk. Could one of your clan help me return to Lincoln? March beside me through the city gates and set me at my father's noble feet once again. It may be we can help you, but we'll want something in return. An alliance between our clan and yours. And you shall have it. My father is a great friend of the Danes, in spite of the recent wars. You sing a sad song, Hunwald of Lincolnshire. A son robbed of his father's protection. Now desperate to prove his honor. How far will you go to regain it? To a bloody end? Oh, indeed. I will plunge into the heat of battle to defend my father, knowing our cause is a righteous one. All right, young lord. My clan has need of me just now. But when I'm ready, we'll find your father together and right the wrongs you've suffered. God praise you, Eivor. I won't be leading you into the heart of a shield wall, but there will be danger. 
I want your word. You will follow my orders to the rune. I am yours to abuse. If it comes to that. I'll wait for you in my safe haven, Bottleston to the northeast. From there, we shall make our way to Lincoln. Goodbye, Lord Boy. Safe travels. God bless and keep you all. I fear I may be escorting that boy to his own execution. That might shut him up. Buluşma yerine doğru hızlıca teleport oldum. Kaldığımız yerden devam ediyoruz. Lord için eskortluk yap yapacağız. Ee, bakalım nasıl bir senaryo bizleri bekliyormuş bu bölümde. Show me. Just about this land, my friend. You see, Hunwald's back. Drinking and jabbering as always. Hun who? Hunwald. Son of our elderman. Thinks himself a real wonder. Slouching with the common folk. Hunts. Ah, leave him be. If a man wants to drink in the dirt, let him. So this is Hunwald's safe haven. Though we be a mercy in Shire today, tomorrow the kingdom of Lindsay will rise again, as free as the wind on the back of my neck. Your line of kings died long ago, Hunwald. We're in Lincolnshire now. Do you need a map to remember? Alvgar, my dear man, I do not need a map to prove what my bones know for truth. Well, as to God, me feel. Unwald, who is this stranger? Eivor, come, sit. Bread and ale, please, alewife. I have been discussing my delicate situation with Alvgar here. Lord. He is a nobleman like me. One of Lincolnshire's sturdy thanes. Hunvold's idea of sturdy is a mug of ale that won't tip over. Alvgar has pledged his loyalty to my family, the House of the Ferocious Swan. With his influence and your might, we shall rid Lincolnshire of the ruffians who plague this land, once and for all. We're going to see your father, Hunwald. That's all. Indeed, Eivor. With speed and purpose, you are the axle to my wheel, the spark to my tinder. Hunwald, your father is ill, and your enemies have every advantage under the sun. Do you have a plan, or have I come all this way to watch you drink this watery piss? Of course, my friend! I am a man of action above all else, ready to leap and dance and fight! Listen, I've come to escort you to your father's side. We go now, or I walk. Ah, yes! To Lincoln! Away! But with care. The road between here and there is teeming with brigands who wish me dead. You daft lump of lard! A single Dane will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I think you're wrong, Alvgar. And here she'll prove it. I'm hot for a fight, Snowdog. Give me half a chance, I'll stove your heathen face right in! Have you ever seen a blood eagle, my Saxon friends? A what? A blood eagle. 
A raw, magnificent bird I'll tear from your guts. First I crush your ribs. Then I pull out your lungs and stretch them into wings so you can fly to your heaven as fast as possible. Jesus fucking Eden. You canny fox. That was incredible. Like watching a captain navigate the roiling waters of an angry river. I must void my bladder, Eivor. Then we shall set forth in search of adventures new. You travel with a marked man at your side. He's with me. You'll be fine. If I had a scribe jot down all the occasions I'd warn that stupid boy, I'd be the most written about man in history. Alvgar, the boorish nag of Lincolnshire. I told Hunwald to stay near. Where did he wander off to? Hornwall's in trouble. They call this pasty whelp a lord. Look at him. Leave him be! Jesus! He brought the bloody train! I have been struck down, pruned within an inch of my life, but I will survive. I must continue as you would, Eivor. And if I should expire, avenge me. Are you hurt? Unbelievable! The Battle of Bottlestone will be remembered for years to come! Alfgar, we have won our first great victory! Hunwald, are you hurt? Never better, I... We should get to Lincoln as quickly as we can. Yes, yes, you're right. Let's depart. What horrible souls are hunting me? Me? The son of a beloved elderman, was it naive of me to believe my status as a nobleman held some sway over the chairels and serfs of this shire? What cause have any to dishonor me? Look! Boats there! We could sail the waters to Lincoln, sink the ships of any enemies in our way. What were you told when the guards exiled you? Oh, scraps of nonsense. I woke to screaming. A man grabbed me, said I was an immediate danger to my father. <laughs> Horse pucky! Mercian soldiers then shackled me, rode me blindfolded to the river wash, and told me plainly, start anew elsewhere or face death in Lincolnshire. What did they mean? Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death. Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death, hungry for his inheritance. Speak plainly, Hunwald. I cannot help you if I don't know the full story. You hold no grudge against your father? No, never. No, I suspect... Here's Lincoln, the city of my birth, the cauldron of my present sorrows. Mercy and guards everywhere. Follow me. Right behind you, Shadow Walker. My heart beats like the drums of your dragon boat.
This town is your home? Save weeping for prayers. We're not inside yet. One day I will go to skulk around this town with my face hidden. I will walk proudly among the people I love. How was your father the last time you saw him? He was quite poorly. But he has the heart of a lion and the Holy Spirit itself within him. A bout of illness would never man. bring him low. Did he think highly of you? Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. The Thanes and clergy of Lincolnshire are not fond of me, but they do not yet know me well enough. Not true. Peek from those bandit smugglers. They hoard everything. No one has heard from the Elderman in weeks. Lord Hungrio is surely fighting the days to the Hunwald! Praise God, you live! I do, my dear Reagan hair. Body and soul. Tell my father his son has returned and in fighting form. It is urgent I speak with him. I'm sorry, Lord, but your father has been taken. Taken? When? Weeks ago, Lord. And well ill he was when they carried him off. I wish I could say more. Have you looked for him? Oh, I dare not go asking after him, for fear of stepping above my caste. But he'll be in good hands, don't you worry. Up there with the abbess and her sisters and all. He still has friends in Lincoln. That's a good sign. Bishop Herivrith among them. He's kept a vigil at the town hall, looking after things in your father's absence until he returns. Will we find trouble there, at the town hall? You mean soldiers and the like? Aye. There have been many, many more about since your father took his leave. Right. We'll find a quiet way in if we can. I wish you the best of luck in your endeavors, Dane. Who was that fellow? Reagan Hair? He's an old fixture of my family's household. Loyal to the end. He helps run the place. And he's known me since I was but a little lordly. A simple fellow, but worth every pinch of his salt. I should be cautious around here. Oyun benden e, gördüğünüz gibi götürmemi istiyor yanımızdaki kişi ama maalesef gitmeye çalıştığımız yerlerde hep adam var. Ben de kıyıdan köşeden tek başıma gideyim dedim. O beni bir şekilde takip eder dedim ama etmiyor. İlla yoldan gitmemiz gerekiyor. Yollarda asker kaynıyor. E, bizimki bizi takip etmeyince ben de bir sinirlendim. Önüme çıkan herkesi öldürmeye karar verdim. Yolu bir temizleyeceğim ondan sonra devam edeceğim. Çünkü yok. Oyunun gitmemi istediği yollarda adam var. Orada, orada fight çıkmaması imkanı yok. Yani gizli gizli ilerleyemiyorum. Kendim ilerleyebiliyorum ama adam beni takip etmiyor. Ben de iyice çıldırdım. Ee, doğal olarak da herkesi öldürmeye karar verdim bir noktadan sonra.
now. So harsh and unwanting. Fear not, Lee. I shall make you mine again. Have a look, Sunan. Seems a good place to trade. The market is flush with goods. Yes, it must be. Growing up, we never wanted for anything in my father's home. Bread, old trees, fruits of all manner. We never wanted for anything in my father's home. Bread and poultry and field fruits of all manner. I suppose this is where our servants purchased them. Lincoln's boon was ours as well. How often did you leave your house? Archer! Herevry! Tell Lord Hunbeor his son has returned! My lord, you're well. Lord Hunwar, you should have sent forewarning of your return. ...to avoid the violence that dogs you. Lives might have been spared. Why so surprised to see my return, Bishop? Was I rumored dead? Oh, worse than dead. Bu adama acayip uyuz oldum bu arada. Zaten tavırlarını, hallerini görüyorsunuz. Bayağı bir sövdüm ben bunu aslında ama işte. I'm not the Dane he's been plowing, and I don't own a farm. I know you mean well, Bishop, but there's no cause to insult Swanborough's honor. You leave my lady love out of this. 
Ah, your mystery Dane has a name. Sadly, the people of the Shy will hardly be comforted. Now that you have swelled your father's tolerance for pagans into a sin... I have no patience for insults and rumor. We've come to speak with Lord Hunbior. That's all. Lord Hunbior has gone, I'm afraid. He would not say where to, but I'm sure he will return shortly. Once the storm has passed... What on earth do you mean by that? What storm? Your father feared for his life, Hunwald. In his weakened state, he could not defend himself. Not against the Dane, certainly. How dare you? Eivor is above reproach. See this from my view, Hunwald. You arrive after a strange absence, with a hired Viking in tow, demanding to see your father. This does not, in my estimation, imply benign intentions. If I meant to murder you, these stones would be slick with your gore already. Such violence. Good heavens! God must have purpose for you pagans in his holy plan, but I confess to utter bafflement. Hunwald, your father was at my hospice for a time, but he left of his own accord, without saying a word. That's all we know. Come, Abbas. We should leave this young lord to his scurrying thoughts. There is nothing more of use we can say to him. Take care, my boy. Stay within these walls where you're safest. I will have a look around, see what I can learn about your father. If my father spent time at the hospice here, the healers who work there may know something. Talk to them if you can. Find out what they know. When did you last see the Elderman? Leave us be. It is not your place to be asking such questions. Something on your mind? Eivor, I realize the strides you've taken to aid me. My oath to you will last an eternity. You will owe me a blood oath when all our work is done. Blood? Dear Lord. Wait here till I return. Peşimizi bırakmıyorlar. Gördüğün, görüldüğümüz yerde artık fight. Ben de acımayacağım bundan sonra. Şiirde kan dökmek istemiyordum ama madem öyle vereceğim süngüyü, vereceğim deyim baltası. Hadi bakayım. father was recuperating here not long ago. Someone may have seen him depart. Do you know where your Elderman is? I can tell you a few things, but not here in the open. Follow me.
This is far enough. Tell me what you know. Oh, I know loads of things about our Elderman. I know his favorite foods. I know when his bedclothes get changed. And I know he hates being bled with leeches. That sort of thing. But where has he gone? Ah, where? I have no bloody idea. Is that what you asked me? Forget it. Are you the head sister here? Aye. And I'm not too comforted by the sight of you wielding weapons like a war chief. We're a hospice, not a barracks. It's bad enough I've got these armored cod pieces watching me work. Now you! No harm will come to you or those you care for. I'm only looking for your elderman. I'd be risking my neck telling you anything. And if my head rolls, these sick and ailing folk will follow me to the grave. Your elderman would agree. So the sooner I find him, the more quickly these prowling guards will leave your hospice. That's a pleasant thought. Our lord was in a bad way here, and getting worse, in spite of our efforts. Then, quite against my instruction, some guards moved him out. I overheard them talking about a bathhouse. There's no working bathhouse in Lincoln. So, I gather they meant the old ruins just south of here, by the eastern walls. Ruins just south of here. I will look there. Thank you. I pray you find him. He's in desperate need of care. See you, old friend. if you ask me. What choice do we have? At least this way, they'll leave us be. <gasps> they killed one of their own. What's to stop them from splitting our skulls as well? Because they fear us, see? No one takes us for fools. You got it. <laughs> Remember, God punishes those who wish ill upon... upon... <laughs> go on. <sighs> ill upon who? Why? <laughs> These tunnels run deep. Was the Elderman fleeing to a hideaway beneath Lincoln?
best not to draw attention here. More Mercians traipsing across our routes. Come piss for us. was fighting here. About what? A violent struggle between nobles and bandits. The bandits did not fare so well. if I had a door to match it.
noble's cloak with the image of a swan. Looks like the elder men passed this way. Saxon noblemen paid some bandits for permission to sneak through these tunnels on their way to Bolingbroke Castle. Mercy and nobles made a deal with some bandits, paid them hush money to let them sneak through these caves. When the time came, the bandits ambushed the nobles, but it did not end well for the bandits. In the struggle, the elderman's cloak was torn off. But he got away and headed east for Bolingbrock Castle. That's my best lead. Gördüğünüz gibi Detektif Eivor e, Elderman'ın bir kaleye kaçtığını tespit etti. Buradan kaleye gideceğim. Zaten kalenin önünde de bölümü bitiriyorum arkadaşlar. Evet böyle tatsız bir giriş oldu bu senaryoya. Ama bir daha böyle bir şey olması için elimden gireni yapacağım dediğim gibi. Kendinize bakıyorsunuz. Bir sonraki bölümde görüşünceye dek şimdilik hoşçakalın.